a lot of weather troubles, yes. Dan, that have affected all kinds of crops this year. You know, some of the coldest weather went down into Monterey, Mexico, and hit some of those spots, and they've got a lot of food shortages. So, yeah. and I always ask for my tomato because I like my tomato on my chicken sandwich. <laughs> Good call. All right, this is what it looked like up there in Bountiful, East Bountiful, Chopper 5, finding the kids sliding down the hill. I think this is Mueller Park Junior High School, but I'm not 100% sure if I had a wider shot. I live about a mile south of here, so wow. Hey, last night, did you see the lightning? Did you hear the thunder? Ryan Houston caught this as the front moved through. We had lightning, thunder, and usually heavy snowfalls when that happens, and that's exactly what happened. Another beautiful shot here. This is the Utah Lake area. When the winds blow so hard, the ice that's on the lake creeps up and becomes a big, huge ice dam. This thing is huge, and you get that around the lake when, uh, yeah, when the when the ice starts to break up a little bit and the winds blow, <laughs> it's a crazy sight if you want to go down and see it. Montpelier, four inches of new snow, 10 inches in Providence, 33 for a high there. Uh, eight inches at my house in Bountiful, 38 for a high, 37 at Mill Creek, seven inches there, same in Sandy. Biggest part of the storm hit to about point of the mountain northward where it was a blizzard last night. Provo, only an inch. So it really did miss the Provo area in those 110 mile per hour plus winds as the jet stream of 150 miles per hour went from Ely to Rock Springs and just shot right over the top of Utah. Now there is a storm to the west. It looks very impressive and you'd say, Dan, are we going to get another blast of snow? It's a complicated situation. This storm is actually going to move down the coastline. Here's the big picture. Here's the cold, two pockets of cold air. This is going to slam California. They desperately need the rain. They're in a still 10 year drought. And so as this front moves through California, that brings them well needed rain. They have 130 to 150% of normal snowpack in the Sierra. So that's good news. But the thing is the storm moves down the California coastline, turns the corner, and we're sitting here kind of in the in the middle of things. Yeah, a few showers here and there, but nothing really significant until Saturday night. The cold front goes by, rain mixed with snow, turning to snow Saturday night and Sunday morning. And so that's what we're going to forecast. Late Saturday, Cache Valley, some rain and snow, and then snow Sunday. I have another storm with winds picking up significantly Wednesday and Thursday. So the Wasatch back and most of our ski resorts are going to see significant snow over the next seven days. In the Uinta Basin, you'll see some snow Saturday. This is a southerly flow. It upslopes the Uintas. That's a good storm for you. Same thing on Wednesday and some lingering showers Thursday. Notice the temperatures stay in a range of 35 to 40 around Price and Castle Country. Again, upsloping Saturday, Sunday. That's a good flow for you. Same thing for the southeastern part of the state. Very beneficial rains across southeastern Utah. There for you on Saturday and Sunday. Cedar City, rain may be mixed with the snow, but mostly snow. This is, could accumulate significantly, especially in those south-facing mountain slopes. More showers of snow Wednesday and Thursday. St. George, periodic rain Saturday, tapering off to showers Sunday. Winds and then a, maybe a shower or two Thursday with most of the storminess staying in the mountains. Okay, we have uh, rain and snow on Saturday, but coming up late in the day. Saturday night, Sunday, snow. And the snow... Significant, uh, several inches at least. And then that Wednesday, Thursday storm, I have repeat on my mind. Deja vu from yesterday. All right. <laughs> Dan, do you know how to jimmer? I can shoot from 40 feet. <laughs> well, listen can to I this. make it? I don't know. Teach me how to jimmer. Teach me, teach me how to jimmer. That's right. Coming up, you'll hear the.